guys so I wanted to do a quick little haul of some of the things that I've purchased over the past month or so um, and these are all kind of summer related beauty products and then some fashion all right so I'm just gonna go ahead and jump into it and show you guys some of the things that I picked up over the past month that I think are gonna be really fun to wear and use this summer all right so the first place that I went was Ross and I've been going to Ross a lot lately because we have one near us and we don't have a Marshalls near us. I have to drive like 15 minutes if I want to go to Marshalls and Ross is like five minutes down the road. So I've been going there a lot and I've kind of discovered that Ross can be a really great place to get good deals on clothes if you have the patience to kind of dig through stuff and really look at everything. Um, so I've been going there quite a lot and I've been really impressed several times with some of the things that i found and the deals that I've gotten. So I wanted to show you guys some of the things that I thought would be really appropriate for summer. Um, the first thing is this top. It's just a little tank top and the straps are braided and it has a floral print on it. And it's a little bit longer in the front and then a little shorter in the back. But I've been wearing this with just a black bandeau top underneath because the sleeves kind of come down a little far for me. Um, and the top comes down, the front part comes down a little far too. Um, but that has been really cute. And then you can wear it, you know, with a belt or, um, you know, just let it wear it really flowy. So I thought that was really cute. I think this was $6. This shirt was $6. So the next shirt that I got, I think this one was around 5 or $6 as well. And it's just this coral t-shirt. But in the back, it has this little crisscross and then it goes down really low. Um, so this is another shirt that I've been wearing with the black bandeau. And this one is shorter in the front and then longer in the back. And it's kind of like that crop, crop t-shirt look, um, which is really cute. And, and you can also like, you could also wear this over a bathing suit at the pool. Um, just another really cute little top for summer. And then the last shirt that I got that I haven't actually even taken the tags off of this one yet because I haven't worn it yet. But it is a navy blue kind of, you know, one of those crop t-shirts. Um, and this one has really big sleeve openings and then the entire back is lace so um, you know you would probably want to wear like a nude color cami underneath but I thought that was a really cute detail because um, just completely sheer and lacy all the way down the back. I also picked up a dress at Ross that I haven't worn yet but it is this navy navy high-low dress so it has the the, um, the hem in the front is shorter and then it goes longer in the back. And then the thing that I really liked about this was the collar and then the straps are braided. I think that's a really cute look for summer. And then it kind of forms a racer back in the back. Um, so that's a dress that you could wear. You could belt it. Um, but it's just a really nice cotton dress so it could be, you know, really casual or you could accessorize it and kind of dress it up a little bit because it is, you know, like a darker color. So I thought that was really cute. Um, the next dress that I got was actually from Target. Um, and this one was a little bit more of a splurge because it was like 20 or $25. But I just thought it was so cute how it has the ruffles in the front and then it's like perfect for a belt. Um, and it's just this really light, nice, kind of wrinkle-free material, which I like. Um, and I just like dresses like this that come in right below, you know, the girls. Um, and then just kind of float away because you can belt them and it just looks really flattering on a lot of figures um, and I find it to be really flattering on my figure so um, it also has like the v-neck in the back as well so I got this because um, we have a lot of like weddings and showers and things that we we have this summer so I thought this would be um, a really versatile dress just to have in my wardrobe and the last dress is a dress that I got from TJ Maxx and it is actually a Calvin Klein dress um, and it's just this black I don't even know what this material is called but it's like that it's like um, it's like a polyester and spandex blend so it has a little bit of stretch to it um, and it's very wrinkle resistant again which is what you know I really like dresses that you don't have to iron or anything um, but I just thought this was so cute I don't know if you can see how it just kind of has that rounded the v-neck but then it goes around your neck and then it comes up high in the back um, and then again it is kind of has the um, the seam at the waist which I really like um, but I got this to wear to a wedding and I was so happy with the way that it looks but I also thought you know you could wear it during the day because it's that material that's kind of like in between like it could be kind of dressy or it could be you know a little more casual and I thought it would be really really cute with like a thin maybe mint green braided belt. So if you guys have seen anything like that or even coral, 
um, let me know because I think that would be really cute with this. Um, this is another one of those dresses that I thought, you know, could be very multifunctional. I could dress it up or dress it down. So um, I was really happy with this and I think it was $30 and it's Calvin, it was $30 and it's Calvin Klein. So I was really excited about that. Um, and I think this is going to be like a staple in my wardrobe from now on. So, okay, so mostly over the past month, I've picked up a lot of lip products, cheek products, and then a couple nail polishes. So I'm just going to start with the nail polish. Um, this is the one that I'm wearing right now. It's from Wet n Wild. I love these Wet n Wild polishes because they're like two bucks and they're really, really nice and they last a really long time. Um, the color of this one is Heat Wave, which is kind of this bright orangey red color. And you can see it on my nails right now. Another one that I picked up is this China Glaze for Audrey, which is a really pretty like Tiffany blue color, which is, um, I'm assuming why it's called for Audrey, like Audrey Hepburn, Breakfast at Tiffany's. I don't know. That would be my guess. Um, this is a really pretty minty color. Honestly, I don't wear a lot of like blues and greens and purples on my nails. Um, but I do really like this color and I um, wore it in a video before and I had some people asking about it So this was the blue color that I was wearing um, in a previous video So the first cheek product I got my friend actually brought me from her trip to Thailand and it's a Leo Ellie cream blush and the color is That um, I think it was peach pink but if you can read Korean, then you'll know. But it's 01, um, and this is what it looks like. And I've been using this already, so. Um, it's a really pretty, just natural, kind of peachy pink color um, that's really pretty for summer. Um, and I have another cream blush to show you that's from Sonia Kashuk, which I've been really, in, for some reason, um, into Sonia Kashuk blushes. Um, but this one is called Petal, and it's another cream blush. It's a little bit more of a corally color as opposed to this one, which is a little bit more. Um, of a soft pink if you see them side by side. This one's a little bit more vibrant too. Um, they're both really nice and this is one that I would wear more probably at night or if I was, you know, going out somewhere. The other Sonia Kashuk blush that I have that I showed in a video before um, is this one called Flush. It's just a powder blush. But um, someone had asked if it was um, if it was pigmented or not because in that video it didn't look like it was pigmented but I wanted to show you guys it is really, really pigmented. Um, I was just using a really light hand when I was applying it that day, and also sometimes if this if the lighting is not quite right, I can look look a little washed out, and then the colors don't pop as much on my cheeks. Um, but this blush is really pigmented, as you can see, um, and it's just a really nice, just bright hot pink. Last cheek product that I got is this. Um, what is this called? Mineral Glow Pearls. Mineral Glow Pearls from Physicians Formula. Um, and I just love how these are like little balls. I don't know. Um, but this is like, this one is called Beige Pearl, which is more of a kind of almost a bronzy pearl color. But it looks really, really pretty, um, especially if you just skip the blush, just do bronzer all over your cheeks, and then just put a thin layer of this all over your cheeks. It just gives you that really nice bronzy glow. Um, which I really love. All right, so now I have some lip products to show you guys. The first two are from, okay, so the first two are from Maybelline, and I've been really into bright lipsticks lately. Um, I feel like it's really fun for summer. You can do a really simple eye makeup and still add, and still add a lot of fun to the look with a bright lipstick. So the ones that I picked up are in the color Fruit Punch, which is one of their, um, like the ones with the gl more glossy finish. It's just a really nice, um, kind of warm pinky color so that's fruit punch and then this one is called coral crush which I'm wearing coral crush right now layered over fruit punch because I had fruit punch on before then I wanted to add a little bit more color so I put this on top of it that is coral crush and it's a really bright just true coral color then all my other lip products are from Revlon um, I picked up the Revlon Lip Butter in Lollipop, which is another really bright color. This one is more of a cool pink color, um, which I've been a big fan of these kind of more blue-toned pink colors. So then I picked up three of the new Revlon Balm Stains, which I was so excited to finally find here in South Carolina. Um, and the colors that I got were Honey, which is... 
a really natural looking kind of mauve -y pink color and love sick love sick right or love struck love sick which is another one of those kind of purpley it's really similar to this one actually um, just a little bit lighter and then I wanted to get a red so I got romantic which is an orange a red with some nice orange undertones those are the three balm stains that I've picked up so far. If you guys have tried any that you absolutely love, please leave it in the comments below because I want to pick up some more. I'm um, just not sure which colors I should get. So if you guys have tried other ones, let me know. And the last lip product that I got is this Revlon Color Burst Lip Gloss that was um, on clearance at CVS. And it's in the color Rose Gold, which I thought would be really pretty. Um, just to go with that really bronzy look, just because it's kind of a bronzy um, pinky color. Alright guys, so those are my recent purchases of kind of summer friendly products. I hope this was helpful for you guys. If you have any questions, please leave them in the comments below. Thank you guys so much for watching and I'll see you later. Bye!